Now let's go live to the Hesburgh Library where Notre Dame Day reporter Catherine Dudas is standing by. Catherine? Thanks, Trisha. Yes, I am at the top of the iconic Hesburg Library. As you can see, it's an incredible, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful view. And I'm here with one of the people who perhaps knows this library the best, Diane Parr Walker, the university librarian. Diane, thank you so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. I'm glad to be here. As we just saw, this is a momentous year for the library. How has the university been celebrating? It has been a momentous year. Uh, you know, Father Hesburgh's original vision for this building came to light when it opened on September 18th, 1963, and then was dedicated on May 7th, 1963. So we've used those two important dates to frame a year-long celebration that has helped us celebrate our past and reconnect with the original vision, but also anchor our vision for the future of the library and reimagine that in order to be a great research university, Notre Dame has to have a great library. That's, that's really wonderful. And what other events have made this year a big one for the libraries? Sure. The celebration has really been a campus-wide celebration. We've had a lot of partnerships across campus. Um, with campus partners, we've hosted over 50 events and told the library's story about its mission of connecting people to knowledge at least 50 times. Among the events that we hosted was the celebration that launched launched the year that you saw in the video. That was a partnership with student government, with alumni affairs, with Notre Dame Game Day, and many others. Then we've hosted a series of lectures, the Hesburgh Library Lecture Series, with academic units around the campus all during the year. And in January, we hosted, along with the DeBartolo Performing Arts Center and student government and many others, the TEDx UND event. That all sounds really incredible. And uh, as media increasingly goes digital, what will the next 50 years bring for the library, if you can guess that far? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. I wish I had a crystal ball. But you know, I'm often asked if the future of the library is about print and books or about digital. It's true that for the last several hundred years, books have been the primary containers of knowledge. And it's also true that in the 21st century, now our containers of knowledge have multiplied. We have electronic books and journals, but also news feeds and humongous data sets and emerging technologies that are transforming the way people do research in the 21st century. But what's important is for us to remember that the library's mission is really about connecting people to knowledge. And so the future is about books, but also about digital and a lot more. Uh, speaking of digital, the library's launched a new center for digital scholarship this fall. and. What's going on there? <laughs> sure, we did. We launched the Center for Digital Scholarship and celebrated that opening in November. Knowledge creation in the 21st century really will require access to state-of-the-art technology and advanced research expertise and digital library services. So the center has been designed to meet those growing needs. And already it's transforming how we work with faculty to advance teaching, research, and learning here at Notre Dame. and the center will also give every Notre Dame student access to the digital tools and skills that they need to be successful contributors in a 21st century digital world. That sounds really exciting. That's really awesome. Um, can, and then last question, can you tell us what you've planned for the grand finale for this year celebration? Sure, we're winding to a close because as I say, dedication day was May 7th. And so um, our last public event will be this Friday and Saturday evenings here in the courtyard next to the reflecting pool in collaboration with Notre Dame's sacred music program and featuring Notre Dame's brand new children's choir. They will do a performance of a piece by Benjamin Britten called Noah's Flood. It's based on the story of Noah and the Ark and uh, will be a multimedia open air extravaganza weather permitting. We're, we're, we've got our fingers crossed. And then finally, all during the year, we've been uh, putting out individual milestones that are important in the history of the library. So we'll wind up our 50 milestones campaign with our 50th milestone on May 7th. I'm gonna not spoil the surprise and tell you what that milestone will be. So I'll encourage those who are viewing us to check back to 
uh, the web or follow us on Twitter and Facebook to find out what our vision for a 21st century library that will continue to inspire academic excellence for the next 50 years and beyond looks like. That all sounds so great and so exciting. Thank you so much, Diane. Uh, and Jack, back to you in the studio.